All right, guys, we're back with another bi-weekly SM map randomizer top 10 power rankings. So let's let's just get into it. Let's see what has changed. As you know, we just got to kind of go through and check everyone. So last time I did this, I think I crowned Eddie number one. So let's look at Eddie, Oss, and Zeb right off the rip and just see, see if this has changed. All right, map Brando. So we got to quickly do this. I understand and I'm only, so now that we have got a set, you know, time period, I only plan on really looking at the last two weeks in terms of what has changed. So let's see. All right, Eddie, number two behind Simo, Nevdi, Zeb, number one on all these. Beat Mo in the tournament, losing the Zeb here, beating Derp, Eddie beating Zeb here and over Andy. Let's see, Zeb and Oats taking over Eddie here. Oats, Andy, Spiffy over Eddie here. Eddie on top of Oats and Andy. Basically, I'm gonna go all the way to eight, six and then not look. That's the plan now. Okay. All right. Eddie over Oats and Andy. Eddie over. Oh, this is any percent. Derp Nitro. Dude, Nitro has some crazy results, man. It's actually nuts. Eddie over Oats. All right. Let's see. Oats and Eddie over. Okay. I mean, Eddie's pretty up there, but definitely doesn't just win every race. That's for damn sure. This is a pretty strong win. Let's see. Losing the Nitro. Wait, what's all the DNFs? Okay, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know. I'm not going to count. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. All right. Eddie over Oats and Andy. Andy and Oats. Andy's also had some really good results lately. This is any percent. Okay, so we're, this is it. You know, these are kind of interesting results. Uh, let's. All right, let's check out Zeb. Let's check out Zeb. All right, Zeb. I think just today. This was like a relatively weak race for Zeb. Zeb has had two rough races, I think. So Zeb here in fourth, but Simo's really good. Zeb, Zeb with a strong win here. This is probably the worst Zeb has done, but I know it's like kind of a Ridley issue. Okay, Zeb 2-0 over Nitro in the tournament. That's really strong. Let's see, Set Zeb over Eddie Derp. Eddie over Zeb. Zeb over Andy Oates. Nevdi Oss beating Zeb, but Zeb over Oats and Eddie. Let's see here. Okay, Zeb with another first over Simo Oats Nevdi. Eddie over Zeb here. Nevdi, Zeb, Oss, Oats. And I don't think I counted these on the day. I'm not too sure. And then Zeb taking a first tier on the six. Well, it's already too hard to tell. Zeb and Eddie still seem pretty damn even to me. Honestly, it, it's really hard the last two weeks. It's possible. I mean, I don't know. Um, okay. SM. Okay. So also we're pressing him second here to Nevdi. Let's see over Zeb Oats, Eddie also over Oats and Nitro. Andy winning this crazy. Um, okay. Another first over Mo super sponge to losing two O to Oats is kind of like a big deal. Kind of, I think. Sefi beating Oz here. It's kind of nuts. Oz over Sefi and me. Nevdi and Zeb beating Oss. Zeb and Nevdi again beating Oss. Oss taking a first tier. You know, there's maybe a... I have no one freak out. Remember, I'm only judging the last two weeks because I, I have to now set a standard. There is a world where Oss is fourth or fifth here, but I have to really look. It's really hard to say if I'm just basing off these rankings. Yeah, the list on the right's really good and accurate. All right, let's look at Nevdi. Now Nevdi's in contention. Nevdi and Oats are both in contention, I think. Even Nitro, I think Nitro's like actually insane. Okay, let's look at Nevdi. Uh, all right, Nevdi losing to Simo Eddie, but beating Zeb and Oats. Nevdi losing to Nitro Zeb, but beating Emmett. Nevdi losing to Eddie Nitro. Okay, Nevdi 2-0 over Oats. Oh, no, sorry, 2-1. This was a crazy ass race. Really cool race. Nevdi losing to Nitro. Okay, Nitro like has his number a little. All right, let's go here. Losing the Nitro again for like the hundredth time. Okay, beating Baron. Baron's a good win here. I'm almost considered a good win at this point, dude. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so Nevdi losing the Derp, beating Andy Mo. A nice first tier for Nevdi over Zeb Oats and Eddie. Nevdi over Derp. 
And Mo, Nevdi over. But these are like, I mean, Mo's good. Derp's actually really good. But like this, this, this here is like good for consistency. Like that's a really strong win with a strong time. But losing that Nitro Derp, <sighs> beating me, Sefi, RJ, K. This is kind of rough. This is also a little bit rough. Zeb, Simo, Oats over Nevdi. But Nevdi's raced a lot though. So we have more results from him. So, so some of the ones that shouldn't hurt as bad. Okay, losing the Oats, beating Eddie though. Pat Scott, losing the Lunix again, uh, beating me and okay. Eddie and Zeb beating Nevdi. Okay, I guess the question is, my question is, is there a world where Nevdi's over Oss? I do count this because this is on the, the, the six. I don't know. Okay, I have to look at Oats and Nitro now. All right, let's look at Oats. Map Brando, what happened here? Okay. Losing here, then losing the Luke. Lost two on the Nevdi. Who's Luke? Luke's been owning. What's going on? Luke, Lunix over Oats. Oats here. Th this is actually kind of rough for Oats, I'd say. Actually, if anything, I I don't know if I think one versus one should count more, almost less. But it's hard to say because it's like the field is kind of important, I think. It like sets. Because I want to know like consistency. Who's consistently placing in the top? Which means they're like trying to follow logic correctly. Okay, Oats, fourth here. Beating Andy Spiffy, Eddie. Bad race for Eddie. Okay, Oats. Getting first here. Let's see, over Andy. Behind Eddie. These results are pretty good. Oats over Lunix, Nevdi. Then losing the Lunix and Andy. Losing to Eddie. Losing to Oss and Andy. It's kind of rough for Nevdi right there. This is... Pretty cool. Shout out to Emmett taking down Oats. Okay, Zeb, Simo beating Oats here. Oats beating Nevdi. Oats. Yeah, maybe Wondrous One should carry more weight, guys. No. <laughs> JK, JK. Oats over Nevdi, Eddie here. Oats. And then Oats beating Oss, I do think is huge. It's an argument for Oats. But I. I guess my issue is. My issue with Oats still. These are really, he, he was really on a good streak here. I think it's really tough when I think Oates has not really fixed his problem of like shambling, which, so it's, it's pretty hard for me to rank him higher because I think consistency is the only thing we can really look at in terms of how to rank someone here. Like he has really strong wins, but as of right now, I probably am going to rank Oates and uh, Oss and Nevdi over Oates. So. Let's look at Nitro. <laughs> Nitro actually has psycho results, so we have to see. Okay, Nitro in second to Zeb beating Nevdi. Beating Nevdi again, losing to Eddie. Okay, lot two got two owed by Zeb. Winning over Nevdi, Emmett, Lunix, Lynx, Baron. Losing the Derp, but beating Nevdi, Eddie. Losing to Oats, Oss, Andy, but beating Nevdi, Sefi. Nitro lose, oh no, that's not that. Ooh, a DNF. I don't know what happened here. It's hard to know what how to count this. So we'll come back to this. And I don't know what happened here, so I'm just not gonna mess with it. Derp beating Nitro. And then Nitro again, having like a pretty decent performance, but still coming behind Nevdi. You know, this is pretty hard. I do, oh, okay, okay. I kind of am under the feeling, and this isn't, here's the issue. Nitro has less, oh, okay, so that is good for, that is a win for Nitro. So, the issue is, Nitro has less races, but I almost think there's an argument for putting Nitro above. Damn, this is like actually really hard. I need to look at Zeb and Nevdi. I need to look at Zeb and Nevdi again. Okay, first, losing Nevdi, Eddie, Simo. First, this is rough. 2-0 over Nitro is huge. First again, but not huge opponents. First over Derp and Eddie. Second to Eddie, beating Oates Andy. Losing to Oss and Nevdi, but beating Eddie Oates. First again, second to Eddie, beating Nevdi Oates. Second to Nevdi, beating Oss Oates Nitro. I, I think I'm leaning towards a Zeb first. Let's look at Eddie again. Eddie over Oates, Andy. Eddie losing to Andy Oates. Okay, Eddie over Oats. Eddie over Oats. This is sorry, I need to Okay, let me let me go back. Alright, Eddie fourth here. Losing to Derp Oats. Eddie second here. Losing to Simo, but being Nevdi Nevdi and Zeb. Oats uh Eddie first here being Nitro Nevdi. Two over Eddie 
second to Zeb. Eddie over Zeb. Eddie fifth here. Eddie, you know what? I I think this is my situation. I think this is pretty actually legit right now to put Zeb here. And I'm going to put Eddie here. Yeah. Whoops. So I want to do a little cute thing here. Okay, it's going to be rude. Okay, it's going to be rude. All right. So we'll do this and we'll do minus one. And we'll do this. Okay. Third place. So I'm actually just going to get rid of these. Boom. Boom. This is probably now what I'm seeing here. Don't freak out. I do think it's pretty tough between all these guys, but let me look again because I think it's hard to rank us here. And I think there's like the next four are pretty close. I thought, I, I thought to me, Nevdi broke away from the pack before, but now I feel like, let me look at this again. Let me see. I do think Nevdi has too many like weird losses. This, this, in these two weeks not weird but like like this is fine you lose the really good players that's okay eddie simo again that's fine nitro zeb that's fine nitro eddie nevdi beating oats in the tournament's huge nevdi second here pretty solid nevdi second here pretty solid nevdi first here is really good nevdi first here is also really good another nevdi first but it doesn't matter as much third to nitro derp first here you know what i don't know though okay but then a third here to lunix oats this, this is the issue. Those are if you if I was looking at this, Nevdi's actually probably like third. If if I only looked from thirteen to now, it's it's probably third. But then we have a loss to Lunix, a loss to like Sefi, TCK, and the rest of the cast and Andy. Andy's really good though. And then you know another fourth. That's fine. And then we have second to Oats, and then we have what's the next one? Okay, and then and then another loss to Lunix, which is Lunix has some good wins. I, I mean, we probably need to look at Lunix too. Nevdi third to Zeb and Eddie. Nevdi third to Eddie Nitro. I don't know. It's pretty strong. But then like, what's going on here? It's like why? Why are you doing this? This first, and then this fourth is pretty nice. It's tough. Let's look at Oss again. Let's look at Nitro. Let's look at Nitro again. This is hard. <laughs> All right, second to Zeb beating Nevdi. Second to Eddie beating Nevdi. Second, you know, losing to Zeb, rank one player now. First tier to ne above Nevdi. Second here, losing to only Dirt, but beating Nevdi, Eddie. Losing to Andy, Austin, Oates, beating Nevdi. Nitro second here to Derp. Nitro first over Derp and M MM. Oh no, the, sorry, these are beat the game. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. All right, a DNF. There's just not enough results. There's actually not enough results. There's not enough results, but I do kind of think Nitro is extremely good, and I just don't know if that means that I put can put him over Nevdi or not. But it only based off these few results, it looks, it actually looks pretty damn good for him. I think <laughs> if I'm only looking at these few results. Okay, I gotta look at Oats again. You know what? Let's let's give my brain a break. Let's look at Andy because Eno's had. Some, I mean, I know Simo and Derp are huge too. I only think I'm gonna Spiffy might not be ranked because I don't think he's played enough lately. So let's look at Andy. Andy's had some really good races, I think. Okay, okay, two zero over Fat Scott. Third, but losing only to Zeb and Eddie beating Oats. Losing only to Nevdi and Derp. Losing to Nevdi, Oz, Zeb, Oats, Eddie, Stev. Not too bad. Getting second here, beating Spiffy and Eddie. Losing to Oats. Getting third here to Eddie and Oats. Beating Lunix and Oats. Beating Oz. Uh, this is a huge first place. Actually, huge first place for him. That beating everyone, literally. Andy losing to Mo and Emmett. Uh, it's a DNF, but still counting it a little bit. Okay, here losing to Stevmo Super Sponge, not the greatest. Andy 2 over his path. Andy getting third to Eddie and Oates. Andy beating Eddie Derp Solsky. Andy losing to Zeb and Oates. 8 6 over Zeb and Oates. Man, like, N Andy's results are pretty damn good. It's kind of like, like, there's, there's actually an argument here to put Andy over Oates almost. Because he only had one bad loss. He's only had one bad loss, essentially. And overall has a pretty good... I just don't know. I think it's, like, pretty hard. I, again, it's, like, not enough. I know it's two weeks. 
And there's not a ton of results. And I think that's what's making this really hard. Also, I need to see Luke's results. Like, I don't know what's going on here. I don't think Solsky's raced enough lately. Might not make it. Because I have to I have to do only people who've been active. So most likely Spiffy and Solsky, I might not even really look at much. Because I just don't think they've played enough. Oh man. Okay. Oats second here. I'm just gonna look at it myself and not talk about it. Because I need to like process my thoughts here and try to understand. How to rank Oats. Oats is going to be mad, I think, at me here. Depending. But these are just good results, but you can't... The 2-0 over Oss is huge. The thing is, I don't know how to rank Oss, actually. Oats has raced more, though. So, like, if he has more shitty results, you can't really hold it too much against him. If, if someone's racing more, they're more prone to bad and good results. So you have to, like, take the median. <clears throat> Let's look at Oz again. All right. Oz 2-0 over Bressingham. Second here. Beating Zeb, Oten, Eddie, and Andy. Andy taking first this race. Us here losing 2-0 to Oats. Losing to Sefi. Losing to Zeb and Nevdi. And then here. Third. But And then I this is all I can count. So there's not that many results. Um, Honestly. It's... Look, Nevdi, I, I mean, I don't know. To me, this is really tough because he his two recent races are strong, but the rest are, like, not that great. They're, like, whatever. It's really hard to say. And Nevdi has some issues, too. Nevdi and Oss are, like, pretty even here, I think, in terms of results. And I think, like, Oats is... I think, like, Nitro... It's possible I put Nitro above Andy and Oates, too. His results just seem really good, and he seems a lot more consistent. But he, again, he doesn't race a ton, so it's hard. I have Sefi up here. I'm going to look at him. I think Sef Sefi also, like... I don't know how much I think Sefi's... I don't know. Sefi's play style is interesting, because Sefi will go a route and knows a lot of a lot of tech and a lot of knowledge. So like he can make a lot of things work and it works out sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. And I don't know if Sefi, Sefi follows logic early, but the mid game, I don't know how much Sefi's actively following it. And I think that can hurt him, at least from what I've seen. Sefi has some really good results though, but Sefi also isn't in lobbies with a ton of good players all the time. This is pretty good though. Like this is pretty solid. This is a good win. That was a good race for him. And then there's just not really that much. 8-6. <sighs> yeah, Sefi's results are pretty good, too. It's tough. There's a pretty big... I can't rank Spiffy this time. There's just not enough results. So I'm actually just not even going to try to wrap my head around it. I think same with Solsky. I just can't rank him this period. This Luke guy actually has really good results. <laughs> and is probably top 10. But... Yeah, it did not a ton of results, but like I've never, he just always like places well. So I don't know Luke, except for this DNF or Spiffy. But yeah, I mean, I think this, oh wait, but that's old. But I kind of have to look at all of them. If I look at just these results, man, is this all they have? The few results from Luke looks like he's a top 10 player, but it's a very few results. So it's really hard. Um... Well, you guys are making this impossible, so that's really cool of you. I kind of think Andy's made some serious moves. All right, now I have to look at like Simo and Derp because they are not talked about enough and they're extremely good. Let's look at Simo. I think Simo has extremely good results too recently. Okay, first tier over Eddie and Ebdy Zeb. That, that's already huge, okay? A second to Zeb beating Oates and Ebdy Luke and Luke is good and Sefi is good and Lunix is good. Simo winning here. Simo did lose to Nitro in the tourney, it looks like. Or they're just playing. I, I Oh, no. 2-1. Wait, yeah. 2-1 Nitro. So here's the issue. These are the results for Simo. This is it. So can, can, we, can we rank Simo? That's the question. Is this enough to rank Simo this period? Do we base it off? La like, how much? Do we always base it off the change from last time? So I'm not too sure how to do that. We have to just take the results from last time and add it here. So maybe I can add Spiffy actually. Back here. 
Okay, Bressingham. Let's look at Bressingham. I'm losing the Oss. That's just like not enough results. Just tournaments. I just like can't do that. I know Nito's really good, but. All right, let's look at Derp. Third here to Eddie Zeb. Beating Nevdi Andy Mo here. Second to Nevdi. First here over Nitro's Nevdi Eddie Sefi. Man, Derp's results also seem really good and then no more map randos okay and then and then fourth to eddie andy oats and then first over oats and solsky why do you guys do this you actually make it impossible you realize that right you realize this is impossible it's like i have to base this off from last time derp looks like they just don't lose that much like at all os results compared to last time I have to just look again. I can't even believe this. Two overs pressing. Second here, losing to Nevdi. Second here, losing to Andy. First here, two overs Oats. Losing to Sefi. Losing to Nevdi Zeb. I actually think I probably have to put Nevdi over Oz for this ranking. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, I don't even know anymore. Or Nitro. But who's third then? Like, is Andy... Can I... Can I realistically put Nebdi third? Like, I don't know. Simo Eddie. Like, there's almost an argument that Simo's up here. But not enough results. Nitro Zeb. Nitro Eddie. 2-1 oh, over Oats. I'm second to Nitro. Second to Derp. First. Big first here. From here backwards, it's really good. I think. Right? Or is it worse? I don't know. First here, another first, another first, and then losing to Derp Nitro. First here, losing to Lunix Oats, and then another, actually, yeah, I just like don't know. It's really tough. Second there, second to Lunix, beating Oats here. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's hard. You have to like really, really study, like you have to really just study the results, right? Like you can't, cause it's not feeling, I mean, really, you can you can figure it out. I mean, and it's there's like an argument for putting Andy above these guys. There's actually a real argument here because Andy has really good results recently, and like lose the Zeb Nevdi, lose the ne Derp Nevdi, but he has this, but he only loses essentially good players. Beats Spiffy Eddie, third Oats and Eddie, but then beats Oats, gets first tier, beats Oats and Aussie. Like that, that's what, yeah, like it's lose the Mo, but lost the Mo and Super Sponge. This is like the reason why I'm having trouble. But then like 2 O's Poff, lose the Eddie Oats, but then beats Eddie Derp Solsky here. I, I don't know. It's like pretty hard. So like, I don't even necessarily think like Andy has, and same with Nitro. So basically right now, I think Oats, Nitro, Oats, Nitro, I basically think all these next like five guys like are tied almost. And then Simo, who I think is extremely good, but doesn't have a ton of results, just has these insane results, like two, like three insane results. And then like, that's it during this session. But if we were to just judge it from them, then it's like, they're huge. So, so it's hard. Basically, I almost think like the whole rest of the cast is just near even. What I don't know is if I can rank Spiffy this season, but maybe I can. Spiffy had this race, losing to Oats and Andy, but beating Eddie. Cause Spiffy's still really good. He just doesn't race as much, like at all. Yeah, he just doesn't race. And this Luke guy is like really good, but it's hard to say. Nito's also really good, but again, quiet, quiet since last session. Who can I possibly put third? It might just still have to be Oss, but it's kind of hard. But there's kind of a part of me that if I just judge it based since last time, that I probably, I I could even put Oss fifth here almost. And it would like sort of make sense as a change, as like a change from last time. I probably am putting Nevdi over Oss this, this session, potentially. I think Nevdi has had too many clutch things. So I'm kind of leaning towards Nevdi third. So we'll do that for now. I won't do the plus ones yet because I just don't know. And then I just don't know between Andy, Oss, and Oats because I feel like in Nitro. I also think Nitro has an argument for third, but I think Nitro does have an argument for third as well. 
Let me look at this again. When Nitro enters, they cook. Oh God. Where can I even put Oss? Where can I even put Oss? Like, where can I possibly put Oss here? Probably fourth. <sighs> I'm gonna do this for now. Let me see how this looks. I actually, ah, man, I have to look at Oats again. Fourth, over Zeb, Andy. Third here, losing the derp. Luke, Andy, Sefi, Eddie, Eddie. This first is so strong. Well, it's, oh no, that's a, that's any percent rip. Map rando. Let me look at the first page. Um. Okay, so Zeb second. I mean, Oats second is beating Derp, Eddie, Neb, D. And then Oats getting last. And then Oats losing to Luke. Oats losing 1-2 to Neb, D. Losing to Luke's Lunix. Okay, we got to keep going further back. And then Andy, it, these cancel out. If I were just looking at that front page, I would actually put Oats like pretty low. But then like Oats has these wins. Andy, Eddie, Spiffy over Andy over Lunix Nevdi, then losing to Lunix Andy. Okay, so I think I'm pretty set on this. And this is pretty nuts. But I do think Nitro's here now. I think looking at the results, it's like, it's not a ton of results, but I think it's like kind of, it's hard to say, but if Nevdi's third and Nitro beats him that much, it's also like, I think I have to put Nitro here. I think there's actually an argument for not Nitro at fourth, but I think Oss is still too good. The real question is, how do I rank Simo with this little result? How do I possibly rank Simo here? Cause Simo is arguably just up there, like extremely good, but I have so little to go off. It's like a huge bummer. There's just not enough. This is it. This is literally his only results. It's one pay. I, I have to do it within two weeks based off last session. And it's like, since last time I ranked him, he's had only three matches. And the three matches are really good. Well, two of them are strong. But like, this is it. This is all I have to work with. This is it. I have nothing else to work with here for Simo. So it's like, is it fair of me to just... Cause then you could just enter less races, do well and stop, which I don't love that. I don't, I don't want to value that as much. I do value more races and I know it's harder to be consistent with more races. The thing is Nevdi has had some like not great results too, but he's had really strong results, more strong, less, just less variance in oats at the moment. The big question is if I were to just do this, like Simo is potentially just six. But I like can't, I might have to rank Simo lo lower, but just tell people that yes, he, the thing is he does actually own or that they own. And I just don't have enough info. I just don't have enough info. And Oss, Oss is potentially still the best player, but it's just Aussie. But like, I just don't have enough info. And like Simo is potentially like, third but again we're lacking info people got to start playing if you want to listen you guys if you want to do well on these things you have to play more and i don't want to punish people for playing more so like i can't just put simo third he didn't play enough i'll still rank simo and derp high and i think they're extremely good but like i just can't rank them high enough you know because they didn't play enough like for this i now god Listen, I actually think Oats is really good and like he could he could be rank one. I need to put that out there. I think Andy having too many like off results, it's hard to put him above Oats here. But I think Andy's made like a huge stride and I think he's gotten really good. I do think Andy's like getting there. I think if Andy stops playing any other game <laughs> and focuses on map rando, like Andy probably had, he has the worst, not the worst, but like his mechanics aren't as good. And if he like keeps grinding, he, he not that he can't do things, he can do like every trick in the book. His mechanics just like aren't Oates' level, right? So like, oh, Andy could 
seriously like start cooking i think hanky's really good at randos it's hard for me to do this i do think there's a huge also tcklz i don't know if i've seen you around a ton but i mean I've, i was thinking about i mean you cook too you actually also been cooking i like don't know okay so i'll probably put oats here although there's like an argument here's the thing i actually hate that i'm not ranking derp in them higher i just wish i had more results let me look at derp again there's like a possibility that I have to just put derp up here too. It's like possible that derp is just here. That derp is actually just six. Um, dude, I, I, ah, man, if you, when you look at his res results, they are really good. A lot of these, you have to be careful because they're not all this, but yeah, like I actually think if I look at this and this based off last time and then the upcoming, there's actually, I think a pretty strong argument for derp being six first here, second here, only losing to Nevdi first here beating nitro Nevdi Eddie. So I'll be, and then this map brand losing to Eddie, Andy Oates. And then off these results first here, this, I probably can't really look at, but that's from before. I mean, I don't know. Doesn't this just look like derp's literally six? The thing is, Oats 208 Oss is too much, I think, to overlook. No, I, I gotta put I gotta put Oats here, I think. It's too many. He has too many results over people. But I think I probably have to put Derp over Andy now. And then Simo. Luke, I just not enough results, I think. Spiffy, I don't really know either. If there's been enough. Simo's really good. It's just like I can't rank. I don't know how to rank this. I just think there's not enough. I actually might not even rank Simo at all. I just think there's not enough results. And we ha we have to we have to do people who are um active. So I'll probably put Oats here. I think I have it now. I think I'm gonna put Oats here. I'm gonna put Derp here. I think Derp has played enough. Let me let me f look at this and then see how I feel. And then I'll put Andy here. And then let me look let me look somewhere for who's Okay, Al's probably still rank Simo, just not enough results. Who else would be in Solsky is actually really good too, and so is Nito, but it's just like not enough results. Yo, let's look at let's look at the real like. Oh, you know who actually I need to look at Lunik. Where's Lunik? And TC, I'm gonna look at TCK as well. Where the hell's Lunix? I can't find it. There we go. Solsky, I can't rate. I just can't rank him. This is not enough matches. Let's just close that. Let's look at TCKL. It seems like they've been new to racing. So, but I feel like their results are always pretty strong. Okay. Nitro, losing the Nitro, but beating Nevdi. I mean, beating Nevdi, Sefi, Lynx, Poff. Beating me, losing the Poff and Sefi. First over Sefi, me. Third to Oats and Eddie. It's like. If, if TCKLZ starts racing more, I think that's like probably top 10 territory. But unfortunately, I think it's just too little results. So it's too hard for me to rank. Let's look at Lunix. I think Lunix has pretty good results and is possibly top 10. Okay. Like this first is crazy and Luke is actually good. Like you just get first over Oats and Luke and Poff. Only losing to Nevdi Nitro Emmett. Losing to Mo Andy Nevdi Derp. Losing to RJ Emmett Sefi Nevdi. Losing to Oats beating Nevdi. Beating Oats. Losing to Andy. Losing to Luke Nevdi Oats Simo, but beating Sefi. Losing to Eddie Nevdi Oats. Losing to Stev Oats Emmett. Beating Emmett Stev. Losing to Emmett Nita. Dude, wait, I'm kind of owning Lu Lunix. Lunix over Natalie. I'm not top 10, by the way. I'm not. I don't think I'm close. I just want to put that out there. No, no, I'm not. Like, Sefi, I think you're better, right? So, like, if I'm top 10, then you're top 10. And you'd be ahead of me currently, is how I feel. Like, this is another strong win. No, I... Oh, of different games? Oh, just randos in general. So, like, this is a really good win, right? I think the fact that Lunix plays so much, too, is like... I don't know. Like, Lunix is potentially top 10 here, I think. It's potential. It just depends if we if we can count who's actually top 10, by the way. People I'm just not ranking is like Spiffy, 
potentially Luke, Anito. These are all people who probably should be top 10. And like Derp, I might just have to put in top 10. And Derp, Derp has an argument for like literally like, not, not Derp, sorry. Simo has an argument for like literally third. Like Simo could be third in my head. It's just like not enough ranking and not enough matches. I just like can't rank this. I can't rank it. I can't. But Simo, Simo is potentially like one of the actual best players. So let's make that clear. Okay. Same with Spiffy. Just because I'm not ranking them doesn't mean they're not top 10. Okay. Um, gotta look at Sefi again. Sefi has pretty good results, but also still struggles a little bit. Like Baron's really good. I don't know. I need to be looking at Baron too. I think Baron's extremely good, but Baron doesn't race a ton. I'm trying to reward people for being active too. And I know not everyone can be active, but that's just the nature of it. Zeb Stev beating. I think Baron is really good, but has had kind of rough races lately. Like Baron is really good, but I think the most recent races are actually not in Baron's favor. I should look at Mo and Poff too. Last year, first tier, but amen. beating me, losing to Eddie, losing to Eddie. Six here. I mean, when I see some of this, I have okay results. Where, do, where would I place myself? I actually think I might be near top 20 in the current pool. I'm sorry, now I think I am top 20. Screw Eddie. Eddie actually doesn't know shit for shit. Nevdi, however, thinks I'm top 20, so Nevdi's smart. Okay, let's see. Put yourself at number one, man. I, I'm not top 10. Let's see. Moe's like pretty good too, and Moe races a lot. Pretty consistently in like the same ballpark. And I think that's pretty good. I think Moe's like close to top 10. I'd probably put Mo above Baron in terms of like results lately. This is just a tough lobby. How do I do this? I might just slam Nito in here, but can I? Is this not enough results? Uh, like, do I rate Simo or do I just not rate them because there's not enough results? What do you guys think? Nevdi? Like, how do I rate these people with not enough results recently? Is it even possible? There's actually, an, I almost just want to cut it off at eight. Yeah, they, I mean, Simo and Spiffy definitely do. I actually also think like other people do as well. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I mean, I agree. I mean, I even think Derp's like potentially better. Yeah, let's just do, we'll just write an honorable mention. Simo, Spiffy. We'll write lack of results. Same with Nito maybe, but I could, Nito, I mean. <laughs> I could maybe rank Nito, but it's also like the same shit. I have to put, I'm going to put Nito in here too. Damn. Who are we thinking for nine and 10 then? Is it really just like, it's like potentially between Sefi, Poff and Lunix in terms of active players. I don't think Simo's played enough. No, he's only played three times in the past two weeks. And before that, it was like a pretty much spark. So I, my last ranking was eight, six. It's pretty hard for me to then rank this. It's like kind of not fair, but I think Simo's like potentially literally like top three player. Yes. So that's what, so what Nevdi is saying is true. They, they've haven't played enough. Well, they've played enough, but like, yeah, the, the results just won't be correct. So putting them, that's why I actually don't love even putting Derp there, but I think that's fine. I actually think Derp's can be there, but Derp is potentially really good. So I don't really know who to look at for, for 10, nine, nine and 10, honestly. I think it, I don't think I can even look at it. MM2 just doesn't play map randos enough either. Like, what am I looking at? What's the, okay. Well, two overs Baron. But they never joined big races, so they're just in the tournament. I just can't do it. I think MM2 is good though. I think maybe Mo potentially, and I actually have to revisit Sefi now. I can't rank Luke yet, I don't think. Maybe. Maybe I can actually. Let's look at this. One, how, how many races? Within the last two weeks, only three races though. And then before it was like some they weren't ranked i mean if i take i could collect all these results since they weren't ranked i could potentially th put luke in here but it's still not enough so yeah it's just like hard i could i might not even say like luke luke like luke tckl 
and like who else that's it i was like oh mm2 like all these players too are like potentially there all these players are potentially top 10 too so i'll, I'll just put that here is that cool i don't know if that's showing up on stream because i have it cut out actually so hold on there we go do you guys like this layout by the way i'm pretty happy with how it came out i put a lot of work into this and kona helped me with the background okay so here we go i'm just gonna get rid of this and not over get overwhelmed let's look at sefi ne sefi lunix mo and path i think those are nine eight through ten and we have to like really do a deep dive here i'm not top 10 as much as a lot of people joke about i can't i'm not top 10. i have decent results lately actually but yeah i'm not top 10. okay Poff, who in the top 10 are they beating? Let's see. Let's look at who they're beating in top 10 and who they're losing outside top 10. So losing to Lynx, beating, losing to Lynx and Emmett. Okay, losing to Lunix, Luke. First tier over Baron, Sefi, Mo, Emmett. I I am worth mentioning here for top for eight to nine though, I think, eight through 10. I'm worth mentioning as a loss and win, I think, at this point, but yes. Okay, second to me, beating Lynx and beating Sefi. Losing to Lynx, Sefi, TCK, DNF here, kind of rough. Losing to them and then beating Sefi and me. But this is five. I actually can't, I can sort of look at, the, I kind of have to look further back. So because it's top 10 and these guys haven't been ranked before, I'm going to look a little further back. Just a little bit and see, and see what's going on. That's... When you go this far back, you see I have a lot of potential top 10 active wins. All right, let's look at Mo. Okay, Mo here losing the Lynx and Super Sponge. Mo over Emmett Lynx. Mo over Emmett, losing to Eddie, losing to Eddie. Over Baron, losing to Lynx, Lunix, Emmett. Okay, losing just over Lunix, Lynx. Mo losing to Derp and Nevdi, beating me. Mo losing to Nevdi, but beating Lynx and, and me. Mo over Sefi, me. Mo over Sefi and Emmett. Losing to Poff, Baron, and Sefi over Emmett. Losing to Emmett and Simo. Emmett losing to Emmett, beating Andy and, and Etika. I'm hearing a lot of losing to Emmett. That's all I'm saying right now. Mo losing to Steph, but beating Sponge, Andy, and Emmett. Losing to Oss and Super Sponge. Mo races a lot, which I respect. First over Kaizenton. Mo over Emmett. Mo over Baron, Sefi, Emmett. Yes, I just can't rank Sifi, Spiffy and Simo. The top 10 is clear. So this is when it gets hard, when it's a little more loose. Mo losing to Emmett and Bressing him. I actually have a lot of wins on Mo, which I didn't realize. Okay, let's look at Sefi and Lunix. We gotta look at Sefi again. Who does Sefi lose to? That's like rough for him. Sefi, okay, beating Emmett, losing to Nevdi, beating Emmett Lunix, losing to Mo, but beating Emmett, losing to Baron and Poff, but beating Mo and Emmett. DNF here, I think it was a rough race for him, losing to Poff, Emmett. Lynx, Sefi, losing to TCKLZ, Nitro, Oats, Aussie, Andy, but beating Nevdi, Poff, Lynx. Kind of a rough race here. Well, not really. Just losing to other really good players. Sefi races a lot too, but doesn't always have like the wide pool. Beating Oss here. You know what? I'm leaning towards a Sefi ninth. I'm leaning towards a Sefi ninth at the moment. They all said Emmett, by the way. I, I'm not top 10. I do think I have, I actually have good wins and, and I did well, but I'm not top 10. I'm maybe top 20. But yeah, so let's look at Lunix. The thing is, top 10's pretty clear and there's a huge chance that Simo is like actually rank three or something like, or three or four. I don't know. Simo's extremely good, just not enough results. And I have to start like basing it off more recent results for changes and stuff. Okay, let's look at Lunix. First tier over Luke and Oats Poff. You know what? I After looking at Mo and Poffs, I'm probably, I'm probably putting Lunix 10. But okay, let's look at this again. Lunix over Luke, Oats, Poff. It's possible I put Lunix actually at 9 too. I don't really know. I have to look at this some more. Okay, Lunix over Poff, Oats. Poff, Oats, and Luke. Losing to Emmett, Nevdi, Nitro. Beating Mo and Baron. I'm losing to Mo, Andy. Okay. Losing to Mo. Beating Lynx, Emmett. 
Losing the Sefi Emmett and RJ. Beating Nevdi, losing the Oats. Beating Oats. Losing to Andy. Losing to Luke Nevdi. Okay, but beating Sefi. Losing to Eddie Nevdi Oats. Losing to Emmett Stev Oats. I think Poff is really I mean I I'm gonna look at it again. Um Emmett over Lunix, losing seven oats. Lunix over Emmett Stev, losing the Emmett and Nito. Beating Nevdi, Emmett, Analog Poff. Lunix beating Emmett Stev. I, I, oats, I, I went over this a lot. I do think ranking three through eight was literally, if you look at all the results of everyone, it's extremely messed up. And. I do think, like, clearly you you can be number one if you, like, just keep grinding and playing. I'm mostly just basing this off the last two week results, so keep that in mind. It's not like where I actually think these players are skill-wise. It's just rating changes based off, you know, we're going to have to base it off loosely, like, the last two weeks worth of changes. And some people just can't even get ranked because... Yeah, so I don't know. It, it's tough. It's really tough. It, this has been fun ranking, but it's really tough. I can look at Poff again. Let's look at Poff again. People think I'm robbing Poff here. Let's look at Poff. Poff over Lunix Oats Mo. It's really good. But then, okay, so Poff losing the Lynx and Emmett. I'm only mentioning losses that they shouldn't have, okay? Um, and I mentioned wins that are good. So losing the Emmett and Lynx here. Losing to Luke's and Luke and Lunix. Okay. Beating Baron, Sefi, Mo, Emmett. Well, I'm not really losing to Emmett, beating Sefi, but DNF, but yes, and Lynx. Ninth here to Lynx, TCKL, beating Baron, Emmett. Losing to Emmett in analog, but to DNF, but. And then losing to Andy, and then first here, but this is. This is tough. I think I have to put Lunix here up. Lunix is an extreme. I think Lunix is me, but like more so, like way more of a wild card. So I don't know. Lunix gets insane wins. Like it's kind of crazy. I probably have to put Lunix. I might have to put Lunix at nine. I guess I just don't know who's at nine, Sefi or Lunix. I probably have to put Lunix. I think there's like a pretty strong argument still for Poff and Mo, but. It's hard, honestly, guys. And I do think that Lunix and Sefi probably have better results at the moment. So I just don't know between... S I think I'm leaning... I don't know. Um, Cause for these players who aren't ranked yet, I have to look a little further back. But I do, I do think Sefi and Lunix currently have better results. Um. Okay, wait, so let me un- Wait, <laughs> Lunix isn't actually cheating, right? What's going on here? Is this for real? I can- I, I almost want to type- I've almost typed- Want to open up just chat and type and not look, but I understand that can be like- I wouldn't ever do that, because- I checked because he took the craziest route once, I was like, dude, what the fuck? But he just hangs out. But that can happen with IRC strats, hmm. Right, right, okay, okay, I see. I guess I don't know who I should put higher between Sefi and Lunix right now. I do think that Lunix, I probably will put Lunix higher because I think Lunix participates in stronger lobbies and still pops off. And I think Sefi just isn't in as many lobbies as Lunix, but Sefi also has the potential to hugely pop off. And I'm looking at some of these. And some of the DNFs are rough, but I do think Sefi has a lot of potential to like be extremely good as well if he keeps playing. Hmm. I don't know. See, this is I have to go further back because there isn't as much here. I do say Sefi races less, so it's hard. I think for that reason, I'm also probably gonna have to give it to Lunix. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I think I will go Lunix. What? No, not, what? Sefi. What? I just press Sefi. Okay. Okay, guys, well, I think this is it. I think this is my power rankings. I hope no one's too angry about this. I think I'm relatively happy with 
this. I, I, I say that, but I'm also a little distraught because I think third to third to literally seventh and eighth was extremely hard. It's just really tough because I at times was going to put oats fourth and third. And then I look again and then I'm like, well, I can't because look at Derp's results. Okay. And Andy's results are extremely good. But Andy has worse losses. That's kind of what it comes down to. But people who race more, I don't want to punish. Oates races a lot. So I don't, I didn't take as many of his bad losses, but it's just hard. Um, and like Oates beating Aussie in the tournament, I think is a huge deal. Honestly, there was times when I was going to put Oss at like six. It's super tough. But yeah, guys, Oss. Night, I mean, these guys who want to be ranked, you, you just have to play more because I have to go off the last two weeks. And uh, but yeah, this is it. I think I'm happy with this, Sefi. Sorry, yeah. I mean, this isn't a reflection of your skill as a player, this is just like me looking at these at these leaderboards for over an hour. I, I don't know how else to do it. It's how I do, but I know people say Aussie. I just like saying Aus. But yeah, I think I think this is good. I think we're going to do this, so let's go over it. We got Zeb at rank one, moving up one spot. We have Eddie losing the crown, going down one. Again, you could probably make arguments it's interchangeable. I just think Zeb had slightly more consistency. Nevdi moving up one spot, but I will say, you know, it was super tough to make that decision. I think... Nevdi spiraled a lot with the next five people, but he just had slightly more consistent wins and, and less and less worse losses, sort of. Barely. I don't really know. We have Oss going down another spot, which again I just feel weird about. I think Nitro has insanely good results, but doesn't necessarily race as much, but the results are just too good. Consistently like top four and like be able to beat anyone. Oats going down minus one. I mean, this was tough. Again, I was literally flirting with the idea of putting Oats at four, but just some just some off races, I think were just slightly worse than other people's off races. So that's why we did six. Derp, I think is extremely good. Not many results potentially could rise a lot further. Yeah, I just couldn't really justify ranking them harder, higher without, you know, as many good results, but still extremely good results. Andy, I think, was making huge waves. I was going into this like, man, is Andy above Nitro and Oats now? Like, I don't even know. I've seen so many good races. But after doing a deep dive on the rankings, I think Andy is eighth, you know, moved up two spots. It was tough, tough to rank. And then we have two newcomers into the top 10. We have Lunix and Sefi. Both really strong. I think Lunix is probably the biggest wild card in map randos. Like literally wins entire race lobby sometimes. I don't know what's going on with Lunix and then sometimes completely shambles. So I don't know, but I think Lunix still consistently places decent. And Sefi, again, a really strong runner. Mostly rates, races late at night, but I think been starting to get into some more races and, and proving, proving his worth and just doing really well. Taking a win over Aussie is really good and has wins almost most of the top 10 cast so pretty damn strong we look at the rest of everyone these honorable mentions doesn't mean they're not top 10. i i i really think simo is is potentially third i don't know if that's true just off the three races i can judge them from simo is extremely good can't race them they don't have enough they don't have enough results Spiffy, I think, is also one of the best racers easily in map randos. Just does has not been racing in the last three weeks. Same with Nito. Nito's really good. Barely any results. Luke seems to come out. Luke, TCKLZ, both seem to be new to racing map randos, but don't have the results yet. But I think they could easily break in the top 10. They, they seem good. They have crazy results. So... And MM2 is also really good, but like literally doesn't race outside of tournaments. So can't really rank any of them. If I if I were to place them on the list, it would just be a super misplacement. Like it, it just would not be accurate. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's my top 10. Thank you for watching. And we'll do another one in two weeks. Thank you, guys.